Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. Well, a vlog. I don't be vlogging like that, but today um, I figured I'd let you guys spend the day with me because last night <laughs> I came to the thrift store like in my errands. I just dropped in the thrift store and I left something here that I really think I should have gotten. So we're here to see if it's still here. We're the first ones here. Well, we're the third people here. I have Jace. Hey, everyone. And we're going in to see if this item is still here. So this is the beginning of what could be a very adventurous vlog. Um, we have some things going on. Um, tomorrow's my friend's birthday, but I'm taking her out to dinner, um, like a casual dinner tonight. I figure, why not vlog today and let the girls see well, my life is adventurous because on a usual day, on an everyday, it's kind of, it's kind of just like regular. So let's go. Let's come on in to the Goodwill. Well, the jacket was not there. That means there's something better waiting for me somewhere else. I'll come across it at some point. Come across it at some point. I don't know when, but it's okay. It's okay. We are going to hit another, another thrift store. And we'll take you guys with us. Let's go. Um, I just left out of the second Goodwill location. Of course, nothing. Um, so I'm just gonna let the thought of missing out on that varsity jacket go. Um, I'll revisit it later on. I'm pretty sure at the end of the winter season, I'll be able to find a varsity jacket for the low um, because then it'll be considered like off season. Then it'll be considered off-season buying or like sale price so I'm not gonna worry about that I have other things that I need to work worry about that are more important more important I can't talk today that are more important um, such as I've started building my IKEA closet my pack system I'm so happy the first section is pretty much done and um, I, I have everything but the pullout trays for it or I have the pullout tray but I don't have the insert and I didn't want to buy the ones that Ikea have be, has because I don't feel like the sections are what I need and then they're $110 so I'm going to try and save a little bit by maybe searching Target um, or the container store to see if um, I can find some kind of insert that I like maybe even Michael's um, to find something that I like that is more effective for what I need it for and it's not $110 so I think we're gonna go over to the shopping center that has Target and Michaels in it and we may venture into Raleigh into the container store we'll see if I don't find anything or maybe even TJ Maxx like you guys know they have like the the inserts maybe maybe home goods should we go to Home Goods? I don't know anymore. Yeah, you're with me. Are you hungry? Yeah, I had to Listen. He wanted to come. When you come with me, we doing a lot of in and out of the car. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, so we're going to get going and we're done with thrifting. <laughs> Alright, I'm in Michael's. Let's see. 
but these are looking kind of small for what I want. These are nine point six five inches by seven point six eight. It's too small. Like my tray is twenty two inches deep. So I think that's not gonna work. Okay, so <laughs> of course Ross had nothing. So heading into TJ Maxx. My TJ Maxx be empty. Yeah, it be empty. And especially heading into the new year when inventory is already like low and it's starting to be a slow season for retail. Girl, girl, I don't know what we're going to find in here, but we're going we're gonna to check it out. It's empty in here. Empty. Oh, let's see what we can find. I haven't found anything in any three of those stores. Michaels, Ross, TJ Maxx. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Google the container store and see if they have anything remotely close to what I need because the container store is not close to me. Well, it's not like in the area. It's not within 10 miles. So um, before I go riding out, I'm just gonna use my smartphone. <laughs> Otherwise, it's looking like I might have to just order the insert from um, Ikea, but I don't like them. Like, I feel like for sunglass storage, I need something different. I need a better option. I have quite a bit of sunglasses. Like, I have over 10 pairs, so I need a great storage option for my sunnies. Hey, you guys. So, my man is behind the camera, so if I'm looking googly eyes, it's because he's behind there. <laughs> but um, I just got home from running the errands. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I didn't get much. I didn't get anything that I went out for except for flowers for my friend. But I got this tripod from Best Buy. It's the Joe B Handy Pod 2. It, I don't know if you guys know, but I vlog with my DJI um, Osmo Pocket 2, I think it's called. And I needed an actual tripod for it so that it can sit high up so that it's not like low. So I got this. This is a really cool kit. And it has like a attachment where you can put your phone on it. And I needed another one of these, mine broke. So I got that. Um, I went into Home Goods looking for the insert trays for my packs. Found, didn't find those, but I did find this that I'm gonna put on my coffee table. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just like this because I can sit my candles in it. It's a nice deep wood accent, you know, you know, for decor. And then I needed another one of these, which is like um, an exfoliating washcloth, organic cotton washcloth. I really love these. And they're long and you can wash your back with them. So I got that. And then when I got home, something was waiting for me. I ordered this like a month ago, so I'm really disappointed with the shipping time. That's neither here nor there. I hope it smells amazing. It's by a brand called Skin Potion. And I ordered an oil and a scrub, so I blind bought this. You can talk, come on over here. My husband's waiting in the wings because he's excited about this too. Oh, it's okay. I'm using the, my finger pads. He's waiting in the wings because he's excited. My man is shy. Ooh. He's shy. <laughs> this is a new scent they have come out with. And it sold out. And it came back in stock. And I was sure to take advantage. The scent is called Kama. Kama Sutra and I smell it through the packaging. It smells good. But this is the Lunar Body Polish. So I think it's a scrub. I 
if you guys can see. Oh, it smells so. It smells good. It smells like something that I've smelled before. I'll tell you guys in a second. But come over here and get it. Come over here and get it. Smell it. Come on. <laughs> if you guys don't know, my husband is a true fragrance fiend, okay? He loves fragrance. And if you watched my first ever fragrance video, you know that my love of fragrance stemmed from him. Like, I used to live vicariously through him. So now that I've grown my wings and soared, um, <laughs> I've gotten really, really good at finding bomb fragrances. And this right here is definitely one. He wants to smell, but he doesn't want to come on camera. So I also, this is the, the main thing that I purchased. That Skin Pop Body Polish was an add-on. Angel? You think it smells like Angel? I think it smells like uh, Delina. Exclusive. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the packaging. Look at that, y'all. Oh, I love this. This is so beautiful. So I got a revi revitalizing body oil in the same scent Kama Sutra. This is a hefty glass. This is a nice size glass. So, I'm gonna see what it smells like. What it feels like. Okay, so, it smells really nice. Really nice. I can see this lingering a very long time on the body and laying it layering it is going to be perfect it smells like rose with a freshness to it and then also like a little bit of woodiness i do know that this has bulk oh it says sea buckhorn and bulgarian rose so it's a nice rose scent oil but it's not like old lady rose oh it smells so good it, sm it smells like Delina. It smells like Delina exclusive. If I do, like, just like it. Like, this would pair very nicely with Delina exclusive. If you have, or if you're into rose scents, period, this oil is the perfect, like, layering layer or the layering, a base layer to put on. It's, it's so nice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells really good. Oh, this is luxurious, for real, for real. I love this. Hey, you guys. I'm back. I just got out the shower and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my makeup. Reservations are for seven. I need to leave my house by 6.30. It is 4.50. So I think we're running perfect and on time. Um, what I really hate is that my cloth is, is kind of like all out of sorts because I am trying to like get it together and give it a facelift like a big facelift so right now we're in the closet inside of this room and before this is where my desk was and my chair and my inventory and stuff like that but now it's become a storage area for um my coats my makeup fragrance and inventory but you guys know my inventory for my jewelry is jewelry so it's not it doesn't take up a lot of space but I just I can't wait until the redecorating and face lifting of this cloth is done this area that I'm sitting in is probably going to be a coat closet slash equipment closet um yeah that's what I've come up with so far but yeah anyways this that's where we are right now so we're getting ready
to leave. I'm running like right on time. I have just enough time to show you guys what I'm wearing. So I have on this skirt. You guys have seen this in my last Zara haul. Um, my top is Shop Style Perch. It's a black owned business. I will link it down below. It is an off the shoulder like knit top. Um, my jacket is thrifted. It is vintage Aeropostale. I didn't know there was such a thing, but there is and what else oh my jewelry my earrings are from zara my ring is um julia vaughn and this is just my wedding ring and my bag the bag that i'll be carrying is this pouch that i got off amazon i will also link it down below and my boots are the delton boots these are no longer in production but they're so cute they remind me of um i think it's saint laurent boots so um that is my outfit i wanted to keep it a little casual a little extra y'all know how i do i hate my hair but that's neither here nor there and i apologize if you guys are getting like a crazy view my room is a mess before i go i did wanted to let you guys know that i am wearing the skin potion body oil and i use the body po body polish in the shower um the kama sutra oil that i just showed you amazing i absolutely love the scent of it it is heavy on rose so if you're not interested in a rose scent absolutely not don't try don't try it but i have it paired with excuse the sticker my husband took it off um velvet rose and oud from Jo malone that um oil that oil from skin potion honestly smells just like it so i would say that this is the perfect pairing it's a very very rosy scent very mature very grown woman very very sexy but if you're not into rose i wouldn't i wouldn't attempt either one of these so yes that is the scent of the night Let's go to Okay, so first of all, I'm home. Second, let me know if you find that when you do your makeup and it comes out so good and like your skin is looking amazing and the makeup is lasting, that you find that you don't get to wear that, that makeup long enough. Like I just don't want to take off this face because it is, it is so good. Like... The skin is yummy. Like, ugh. look at that. We're gonna start with melting our makeup off. I use Dermalogica Pre Cleanse. Um, I haven't used makeup wipes in like years. I've been getting along just fine with the Pre Cleanse, or I'll use micellar water if I don't have any Pre Cleanse. Tonight we're using the Josie Marin Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. It's a foaming face wash. It smells like pineapples, you guys. Um, it's really gentle on the skin. Um, my makeup was medium to full coverage, so I really want to get inside of my pores and clean them out. We're going to do one more wash. I'm going to use the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser by Youth to the People. Girl, this gets your face like clean, clean. It's a little bit drying for me, but I'm definitely going to reinforce the moisture in my skin with my moisturizer and serums. So it's okay. I'm using the Makeup Raw Sauce. I'm almost out of this, but. This is like the bottle that keeps on giving because I feel like I feel like it just keeps refilling itself and I never could get to the bottom so I'm just keep using it until it's done. It kind of just restores the balance of my skin. Now, the secret, which I probably should have applied before my vitamin C, but I didn't, is this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Girl, this is an OD but goodie. 
talk about baby skin when you rise in the morning. Oh, so good. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but oh my gosh. So freaking good. So good. Our last serum is going to be our Joy Skin. This is just like a hydrating serum for my skin. It has tea tree in it. So anything that's trying to like manifest its way into my life or my skin, um, it kind of like fights it, fights it off. So I love that. If you don't notice, I'm going heavy on the moisturizer today. I have this sample of this uh, Kika Repair moisturizer from Dr. Jart from Sephora that I've been using and I actually like it. Um, it's ultra hydrating. And then the last step is going to be the Kika Repair Tiger Grass Sleep Hair Intensive Mask. I'm doing this because I did have a lot of makeup on earlier and I kind of want to just treat my skin you know for acting right throughout the night with my makeup so I like to treat my skin with intense moisture mask so this right here is so luxurious so good so perfect for hydration in the winter months thank me later so good and it's the same Kika pair I think it's called Kika Pear or Sika Pear um, formula from Dr. Jarrett. Oh, so, I really love, love, love that line. Um, I would do a face mask, but this is the mask that I'm choosing. I would do a sheet mask, but this is the mask that I'm choosing to put on tonight. It's like one of my favorites that I got in a set of 10. So, love that. And that is my skincare. I'm going to get a large glass of ice water and I'm going to drink it. I'm gonna relax. I'm probably gonna get in the shower, to be honest. And I'm gonna relax and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this vlog and I'll see you later.